to put all my tools in so that I can have it all in one station. So I'm going to go see if Mr. G can actually cut it out for me and put it together since he's so good at woodworking. Let's go and see if he'll do it for me. Here's a garage, Mr. G's happy hideout. Hey Mr. G, how are you? What are you yes. working on? You're working, oh, this is your latest obsession. It's building kayaks. <laughs> it's not an obsession, it's a hobby. It's, it's a therapy. It's therapy, okay. Okay, well, I was wondering if you could build this for me. This is a caddy. Do you think you'll be able to do it for me? Oh, today? Yeah, today. It'll only take you like, what, half an hour? Um, maybe more like an hour than half an hour. Okay, but you can you can do it speedily, right? I guess we can do that. Okay. Now, have you got all the bits and pieces that you want? Like what bits and pieces? Well, um, so you want a round wood base. I don't think we've got a round wood base. We'll have to start with a square one and cut it out. Okay. Um, are those tin cans that you're going to use? Or? Yeah, those are tin cans. Mm, well, I think we've got lots of those lines. Oh, yeah, lots there. of tin cans, yep. Yeah, all right. Yeah. So, we're going to upcycle the tin cans. I think we're going to recycle and upcycle. Yeah. How's that? Hey. Okay. All right, well, there's some tin cans. Let's get some. Where's the tin the cans? Tin cans. Right here. I guess they still have to be washed out properly. Yeah, well, I'll wash them out just before I yeah. I paint them. So you want three staggered tin cans on a pole. That's right. That yeah. Okay. Make sure that the base is wide enough. Mm-hmm. Because we don't want it falling over. Hey. No. All right. So we've got some tin got, cans. And you've got some... And we've got some, some plywood available. Some scraps. Some plywood scraps, yeah. And... Uh, we take the tin cans and we put them on there and we need the pole for the middle. Uh-huh. Got a dowel. Let's see, we've got a nice That's thick a pretty piece thick of dowel, dowel, isn't it? Yeah. And pop him more or less in the middle. Mm-hmm. And we've got a can there. Yeah. A can there. And there. Well, no, they're so, going to be up, up along the... Right. Yeah, they're going to be upright. Right. That's what the spacing must be. Exactly. So that... So it doesn't fall over? So it doesn't fall over. Okay. And so that the one can doesn't get in the way of the other can. All right. And we've got a can there. So I think that base of wood is about the right size. Okay, and what about this... Um this crow here, is this going to be any problem cutting out this piece? Oh, of now you're being difficult. I know. I want the crow to be on the top, so just so make it kind of whimsical. Well, I guess we can find something. How thick do you want the crow? Um, about half an inch or so, or an inch. About half an inch. Yeah. About half an inch. Okay, so I'll just right. let you find a scrap piece of wood. Uh, Check out okay. these Jiffy Pop um, containers here. I've been collecting them for the last couple of years. And I make them into shrines. How's that for upcycling? Okay, Mr. G is drawing, finding out where the center is of the square piece of wood so that he can actually do a circle. You don't have to be this specific. What you can do is actually just find a big circular piece of something. It could be the lid, a five gallon pail lid or something like that to use as your template. But since we have a handy dandy compass, that's what we're going to use here. 
Although it's always better to find the center of a circle because mm -hmm. you've got to cut a hole in the center of the wood mm -hmm. and you want that hole to be centered. Spoken like a true Virgo. Okay, now we're drawing a circle. Okay. And what are you going to cut this out on? I'm going to cut this out on a bandsaw. Bandsaw, okay. Well, now what I've got is I've actually got two sheets of plywood, mm -hmm. half inch, because mm -hmm. I don't have any scraps that are thicker. Right. And we do want the base um, fairly strong and heavy. Mm -hmm. So I've got two half, in, uh, two half inch sheets of plywood and I'm just going to nail them together mm -hmm. before we start. Okay. And then we can cut them out together. Okay, super. cut out now. Voila! Now are you going to do anything to smooth out the edges or what? Well we should route the edges or I mean if you don't have a router or that you can always just sand over the edges mm -hmm. uh, just to finish it off, sand it, edge it. Okay. This is called what? A cove but C-O-V-E. Cove? Yeah, just to cut a, a curve in the top of the wood. Okay. Yeah, it's done now, right? Yep. There's Oops. a bit of edging. Okay. Perfect. Awesome. And this is he is sanding the edges so he gets all the uh, the rough edges off. Now what are you doing? Right, we're just measuring the height of the pole for the three cans. Mm-hmm. So we've got to allow a little bit for the base to go in. And then we've got one can, two cans, three cans. Two can, two can like a bird. Yeah. <laughs> so that'll be the height of our pole. Okay. Yep. On the... Right on the chop saw. Chop saw. Oh, and there's another one here, there's a chop saw. Here we go. So it's cut. And now what are you going to do next? Now we've got to drill a hole in the center of that wood. Okay. Okay, what's that? That's a hole saw. A hole saw. And fortunately we got one the same size as the piece of wood, the, the pole that we're going to insert. Mm -hmm. So it's a hole saw so we can drill a hole in the the hole and the dowel fits in there perfectly. Right. And we've only done it Half. with the one section of wood so that we can secure the pole on the bottom section. Okay. And how are you going to secure it? Are you going to glue it? I'll glue it in the top and put a screw in from the bottom. All right. You drop in some, hole, some glue in the hole to secure the dowel. Thank mm -hmm. you. 